is, uh, you have heard about the X10 Mini and the Mini Pro, it's all about one hand usage. The hardware design and the software design is really, you know, uh, specially made for one hand usage. Uh, when you go here, you press to open it and you can see the four corners you have here. The four corners is really making the, the they have one hand use it because you can always feel where you have your icons because they are in the corners. These corners are customizable. So you can always change them if you want to. So you can just edit the menu and if you want for example you can flick through your menus and see for example you want your music. Then you hold your music, you drag it up and you let it there. And it's your so you can always customize and get your features or applications in the four corners. Furthermore, we have the greatness of bringing in the X10, the Sony Ericsson uniqueness of the X10, the Mediascape. So of course you have the widgets, different widgets you can add all the time. The widgets you add here as well, edit widgets. And the more uh, application you download from the Android market or the Play Now that supports widgets, is of course adding up there. If you go into the Sony Ericsson uh, Timescape, you see you get all the communication down into one point. So it's really to gather all your, your, your communication. So you can flick through what have happened and during the day. You can choose in between different and you can actually add, for example, Andy. I want to see what we have been talking about and then you can get the conversation you have had with Andy. You can go back. If you want to customize it, you will maybe want to see messages. You get all the latest messages. You can click through all the messages you have got. And as you can see, it's very smooth. Here we'll also be adding, uh, once again, here we go. Here we'll also be adding the Facebook and Twitter and all the social communication. So this is the greatness of the Sony Ericsson Timescape. Furthermore, something that really brings everything into one place of your phone is the infinity button. And you have the infinity button in the phone book. For example, you enter here, you see Anne Lee. Do you really want, do you, haven't, do you realize you haven't spoken to Anne Lee for quite a while? You press the Anne Lee, you get up to Anne Lee's information. You press the infinity and you get all, you get into timescape again and you get all the conversation you have had with Anne The infinity button, if you go back with this key, you also have in the music to really gather everything. So you easily tap the music button and you get up a song. If you want more information about this song or this artist or related items, you press once again the uh, infinity button and up comes and downloads all the things, all the media from YouTube as well as from other media channels to one place in your phone. So you can easily choose. We go back again. If you want to have the main menu, you can press this one or you can just wait a bit up. Here you flick it through very easily and of course in the Android uh, marketplace as well as the Play Now you add more applications. You go back again, you always have the option key here, you have the event, uh, the event menu there as well. So I think that is a quick walkthrough of the, of the, and of course you can say it here, we can take next one. Uh, the four icons you will see definitely that you have in all the different applications. If for example go into the camera application, there. You will see that you have the different alternatives, recent photos uh, that we've been taking, also if you want to have the flash. So you always have the full corners, so you always have a very easy uh, access to it. So you can also go in if you want to check it, and if you want to see your latest photos, to make sure, then you just bring them up again.